A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. So seems like I'm getting in a bit of trouble, probably, or maybe not. We are going to see at the end of the video or in the next few months. I'm not certain about that. So as the title says, and I'm not lying about that, this is not clickbait, I had to take down my Mensa IQ video. Taking down means at the moment I made it unlisted such that the public can't see it anymore. Only a few people with the link can see it, but those aren't very many people, I suppose. And I'm going to explain the reasons to you why I had to take it down. Um, and wanna talk to you about maybe the legal consequences and how you can maybe help me get out of this, um, yeah, I know, this piece of trouble that I got here. So I think it was on Friday, someone was calling my number like five times or something in a row using different numbers and then I called back. And at the other end there was a person from Mensa, probably the founder of Mensa in Halle, I don't know um, for certain, but he called me and wanted to talk about my IQ test and my IQ test video that I posted on YouTube. Now at first let's get to the IQ test in general. So the person at the phone told me that my IQ isn't 145, that I was basically making false assumptions when taking the test. Um, I was doing something wrong there and this basically made the score yeah, not being the one it is right now. It's probably way lower than 145. And I'm totally fine with that. As mentioned before several times, I don't give a red ass about my IQ score. It's a score that says completely nothing about the intelligence of a person. It's absolute bullshit in my opinion. It's really not a good measurement for someone's intelligence. Take a look at Richard Feynman. He was like a dumb piece of shit with a 125 IQ, but still one of the best physicists that you got out there in history. So problem here was that when we had to take the test, at first we had to fill in some information at first. And there they asked for the highest um, degree that you got, or not the highest degree, just the school degree that you got, that you are participating with. And I got a bunch of school degrees, so I dropped out of school at first, giving me the so-called hope to Abschluss. Then I did my traineeship as a baker, and then I got the Realschule Abschluss, then I did the Fachabitur, it's, it's even a higher degree, and now I got the bachelor's and master's in mathematics, physics, and also educational sciences, you could say. Now, I was asking the person there who was supervising us which one I should put in and he told me specifically that I should put in the first degree that I ever got. So the, the one that I finished school with. This was obviously the Hauptschulabschluss. This was like the lowest degree you could possibly get after dropping out of school. Hence I crossed the Hauptschulabschluss in there. But the thing is now he told me on the phone that this was wrong. He was watching the video with the Fuchs and myself and I was talking about um, what I did in life and which other degrees I got. And then he, he told me, well, you, you studied mathematics and, and, and stuff. You got a bunch of other degrees. So yeah, this was false information that I put in, meaning my score that I got was put in way higher than it should actually be. It should actually be way, way lower and he told me, um, that I could know my new score. He was um, going through the calculations and I said no because I don't care. I really don't care about the score even if I only got a 105 or something. I couldn't care less. I know that I'm getting around in life so that's all that, that really counts. So this number really doesn't um, yeah, benefit my life in any kind of way. Now this was the situation with the IQ. So my IQ most definitely isn't 145 and I'm totally fine with that. I mean um, as I mentioned in my IQ test video, I couldn't believe the score be because that was kind of unrealistic for me, to be honest. I feel that I'm way dumber than, for example, the, the Fuchs, Johann Beurich, the German YouTuber, and I think he got like a 144, 138 IQ, and I believe he's got a way higher IQ than I do. He's a way smarter person than I could ever wish to be. So yeah, this is just a matter of fact. And yeah, I'm good with knowing that I probably got a lower IQ score. This is something that I actually found pretty good, yeah. Um, this was actually on par with what I imagined I would actually get. Well, a way lower score. 
And now here comes the other thing where I could need your help. At the phone he was very very vaguely mentioning that I was going against copyright in terms of Mensa in my IQ test video. So, so if you haven't watched it yet, watch it, link in the description. He was telling me that I told too much information to the wider public about the test in and of itself. The test format, which kind of um, questions were in there, etc. But I never went really specific, so, so I never said this answer um, is connected to this one right here and this was specifically this word uh, matching up with this word etc. So I was never really specific with that. All I said was yeah you, you had to talk about sequences and also other things you had to match up um, pairs of companies with foods and toys etc. And this is all I really said but, but he was very very vaguely telling me at the phone that if I don't take the um, if I don't take the video down I would get into legal trouble because of basically copyright and intellectual property. But he never really went into detail why that is, he was just vaguely saying it. Um, this is why I suppose that he doesn't really have um, like a heuristical standpoint there, so he doesn't really know for himself probably if this is something that he could um, bring to court, so as a point that I was going against copyright. And, and the other thing is I can't remember and I don't think this was the case that I was signing like some kind of Verschwiegenheitserklärung so that, that I wasn't allowed to tell anyone else about the specifics of the test. And I don't believe that I was going against their intellectual property or something because I never went into specifics. This is just what those mathematically focused tests are about. Talking about sequences and patterns and all the other stuff, matching up things, memorizing things. This is just a, a standard procedure and I don't think that I go against any kind of copyright law there or any infringement of intellectual property. So if you know about anyone who's, who's kind of familiar with the laws um, of copyright, especially in, in Germany, intellectual property and the like, then could you please shoot me an email with the person's name to pyequals3 at popoflemmy.engineer? That would really help. I took down the video for now, made it unlisted. Um, I, I go with that. But I do not um, want to surrender to these people, you could say. I don't want to... Um, go by the means of, uh, yeah, they, they told me I should take it down, so I'm going to take it down. And that's basically the, the thing. I don't know if I'm in, in trouble here. If I were to were in, in trouble, then I'm going to just ba basically keep it unlisted, keep it away from the wider public, then, then that's okay. But I don't want to take it down be because um, ad revenue sticks to this video, new subscribers, etc. And I don't want to miss the opportunity of dragging more people to my channel just because someone told me to to take the video down because he doesn't want uh, bad light to be shed onto Mensa or whatever the fuck, I don't know. Yeah, um, but yeah, this is just what we are at right now. I took it down for now and I want to see if there are really legal consequences that could come at me if I keep it um, basically as a public video here on YouTube. So if you know about someone who could help me in this matter, that would be perfect. Please shoot me an email to pygoods 3 engineer And it's basically it. This is all I wanted to tell you guys. I don't have the IQ that I suppose I did um, like a year ago. Um, someone called me from Mensa personally. Um, they went through the trouble of <laughs> looking at my actual scores. Um, yeah and a bunch of other things. So yeah, that is basically it. Um, that's about it. And I thank guys for watching and I wish you guys a perfectly nice and fine day. We got nice weather out there. I hope you do too. And please stay safe. Don't forget to check out STEMRGU for handcrafted products. Now until the next video, I wish you guys a flammable day. Ciao.